Okay guys, we have just decided that being as we might in the future floor the attic, we decided to go ahead and run a wire up there and put lights in the attic. We have a switch when we go up the stairwell here. We can uh, turn the uh, lights on in the attic. And before we finish putting up all of our ceiling into here, we decided to go ahead and run our PEX up here. We have PEX ran through here. We have both a hot water and a cold water line ran. Uh, we went ahead and insulated it because it was in the attic. I know PEX is not supposed to freeze and bust, but we decided to insulate it anyway. And it will come down and come over here underneath the kitchen cabinet to where we're going to put a small hot water heater uh, to be able to have some hot water out here. And we're going to be running it over here into this room in here and we'll be installing a manifold system inside that room there because there, uh, there is a shower in there. There will be a tub, uh, a sink over here. And also we feel like if we go ahead and just pre-do everything so that in the future should we decide to make some sort of alternation to any of this and turn it into an actual bathroom, then everything will already be ran uh, just ahead of time. And we'll have it all stubbed in where it's just, all you gotta do is just hook it up. All right. Let's see if Daniel knows what he's doing. This is his new piece that's got to go up. Is it going to work? Because it's top it's heavy. Heavier on that side. You need me to hold it? Yeah, I need you to put some pressure down on it there while I... While you go up. All right, I'm gonna have to let go. Right, let go. Is he going to make it? Ha, oh, Papa! Ha. All right. Look at that. Right now. now, when you adjust it. I got to adjust it. Wow. Almost. I'm almost there. This is almost it. From the looks of it. All over. Once you nail this corner, get it pushed yep. in. Get this corner in there. It'll nail. Let me get, Look at that. Get your pistola. It's going to work. Now we're going to have to paint that back of that. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll have to paint all that, but that's down the road well good morning everybody it's danny and wanda back here from deep south homestead um today's moving day yeah, it's also a very cold day it's a good day to move cold it's stuff. a good day to move stuff in freezers because we can set it out we don't have to worry about it thawing it is 28 degrees with 91 percent humidity which makes it bone oh. chilling cold but so, the wind's not blowing at the moment at the moment there's no wind, okay, so, so we're good. I'm moving stuff out of the refrigerators, out of the freezers that are going in my room, my cannon room back here, and it's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I've got my gloves because my hand's gonna get cold before it's over with, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of a, the moving process uh, along today and what we're doing to get this room ready. Ooh. Danny's gonna continue working yep. here and uh, we're going to build cabinets eventually. This will be the next project in the room. But today's moving day for one refrigerator, two freezers. I don't know if we'll get both freezers today, but we're going to move one, I know. Yeah, but I mean, eventually, there'll be two freezers and one, one refrigerator. And one refrigerator moved, yeah, because it's that's a lot to do. i got to really move a lot of stuff in the shop <laughs> to get one freezer out. That may be and, a day or so down the road. Yeah. But, um, and plus, I got I to gotta finish working on the inside of the garage here. As you can see right over my shoulder here, I got a piece of a wall left to do. And then I got another long wall in there to do. Trying to get some of this siding up because it's supposed to rain and sleet tonight. Uh, so I would like to have as much of this wood up before. It, uh, it, I got to move a whole big bundle of wood. And the lighter I make it, <laughs> you know, I mean, just because it gets cold, we can't stop. You know, I mean, we have to keep going, and it, and I don't like having to work out here in it. I'd rather be sitting by the fire in the house, but you got to do what you got to do because tomorrow it's going to be muddy and wet, and we won't be able to move it tomorrow, which means we'd have to put it off a whole nother day. 
or two or three. Or two or three because of the mud and everything. Right and today, now the whole yard is dry. Everything's it's, dry. It's nice. So we're going to try to move at least the refrigerator and one freezer out of the house. The one other freezer in the shop will be... That's a lot of work to get that one moved. He's so we'll, got so much stuff. we got to clean the shop before we can get it out of there. I yeah, think. I think so. Um, but nevertheless, we're going to get it done. So, Moving um, day. That's it. Let's get busy. Let's get busy, guys. We're going to be moving the refrigerator, so I've got the Ranger backed out here. I've got towels laid down on the inside so I can lay things on the inside of the Ranger. I've got my bowl so I can transfer things that I need. And we're going to clean the refrigerator out and take it up to the cannon room and then we're going to move the refrigerator. This is the refrigerator that was in our house. We bought a new refrigerator. This one still works. We didn't want to get rid of it. It's a side by side. The one side is a freezer that will hold quite a bit of stuff and the other side just gives us extra storage for things like flour and eggs and the extra stuff that we just don't want to have sitting out and we just need at a cool temperature so we have double doors there it's easy for us to just move the compressor and move this one out but guys let me show you something from there we got to move all this stuff all the way around to get that freezer out. So it's going to be a process to get that freezer to my room. But we're, we'll get there, guys. It'll just take us a little while. But that freezer is coming out too. And then we're going to clean this whole section up for Mr. Danny. And get it where this room looks a little bit neater. A little cleaner, minus a refrigerator and a freezer. Flour. Shows what happens when you get in a hurry. It don't pay to freeze the fingers. Brazil nut. All purpose flour. Pecans. Extra eggs. Our chickens are starting to lay better right now, and we're starting to store up more eggs. Okay, I could have backed the ranger in here, and I didn't do it, but I pulled the ranger in as close. This door is my cannon door for the cannon room. So all I got to do is come from this side around, and I'm good. I'm going to stack everything in the floor until we get the refrigerator in the cannon room.
plywood's going to tilt up. That's the yeah. way I have it where the plywood tilts. Yeah. Okay. Almost. Both doors are coming open. Let me get on the front. When we went up, it wasn't a problem. Coming down is a problem. Yeah, coming down is a little bit more of a problem. Woo! It's down. All right, now how are we going in the room? All right, hang on. It only rolls in one direction, so. Okay. Beside the refrigerator, and we don't want to be down here hunting a plug and having to undo. We want them up high in our old age, so we don't want to have to deal with it. Right now, I'm gonna lay the water line back. I'm not hooking it up because I got to flush all the system. Okay, so we have the first part of our moving done. Yeah, we gotta clean it off. It's got dust on it from being in the shop. I gotta vacuum out under the bottom. I got some things I gotta do. But um, overall, I hope it, you know, a lot of times moving an appliance is not good. Uh, I tried to be as easy with it as we could. Um, we'll just have to make sure that it still runs and operates all right because I don't hear it running. Okay, we're getting ready to insulate this wall here of Miss Wanda's storage room there where her refrigerators and her freezers are at. And because we want ice in the refrigerator for like if we butcher an animal or kill a deer or something like that we need to set it on ice we're trying to set up our place to where we have multiple ice making capacities we got the refrigerator in the house that makes ice if we got one out here making ice then that'll be a plus for us we won't have to run get ice so i've got a refrigerator box here in the back of the wall for the uh refrigerator line on the uh, refrigerator to hook to so that we can get water to it and I'm running PEX to everything. Now, even though this is going to be in a garage, the, it's an open garage. It's not a closed-in garage. I'm going to, uh, I went ahead and insulated the PEX on this wall here. And plus, I'm going to be coming back and putting the Johns Manfield uh, insulation even over this as an extra bonus for protection because I don't want anything freezing in the wall. I know PEX is not supposed to freeze and bust, but... You know, uh, if you're an advocate of the Grand Solar Minimum we're going into, uh, it's supposed to keep getting colder. So I have seen it down to four degrees here with a wind chill of negative, you know, like negative six uh, in, in my life. So if that happens, I don't want to have an issue out here with a freezing pipe in a wall. So that's the reason for going to all this extra trouble. Now as we go up through the top here, it will be insulated both with uh, pipe wrap like this in the attic, plus it'll have R30 insulation over the top of it. So hopefully we won't ever have a problem with pipes freezing out here. Okay, what we're going to do here in the behind the refrigerator is where the uh, water maker line comes out, we're going to be putting an L in it because I want this refrigerator to be able to sit as close back against the wall as we can. And most of them just stick straight out, which means the refrigerator's got to sit back off the wall a good six inches to keep from crimping your line. And we have a uh, stainless steel line on it also, so we don't have to have any problem with that. And plus now, the refrigerator has kicked on, it's running, so that's a plus for us. The refrigerator is clean, everything's back in. I have Danny's pecans, the eggs, the regular uh, all-purpose flour, and then down in the bottom I have the Brazil nuts. In the door, I have the almond flour and the rice flour, and I've still got plenty of room in here for more things. 
on this side I have some of my um, juices in here and we will move some of the other juices in here where I can get to them uh, we have some of the scuppernine and some of the orange juice in here and I will move other things like that in this side of the refrigerator then I have my spaghetti squash and plenty of room for other things and then the bottom is just miscellaneous stuff in a pull-out drawer if I need it all right so we have the whole inside of this freezer cleaned out we put it on a dolly and we're headed out the door Now see if the door will fit. Yes. Okay. This is this room right here. Now we'll have to move it when we bring the other freezer in. But, <laughs> you look uh, like Darth Vader or something. <laughs> I can't help it. It's cold out here. <laughs> uh, but we'll, we'll move it to the side when we bring the other freezer in and give us a little room to get over there with it. But um, it has, it's, it's found its new home. I'll, I'll move it now. It, it's found its new home. It, yeah. It'll be fine. So now? Now you got to reload it and put everything back in it. And uh, I got to get busy putting back up the. I know that doesn't look like much, but really. The whole ice chest. The ice chest is slam full. <laughs> that ain't all you took out. No, I put some in a couple of other put freezers. Some in some other freezers, yeah, so. I got to get busy. All right, guys, we like a couple of more sheets here in this, uh, in the entrance into our garage here. Got the first sheet up. We move around. I've got this whole wall all the way back to the entrance into the uh, room that Ms. Wanda has set aside for all of her freezers and refrigerators and countertops and storage and all this kind of stuff. It's the canning room. The canning room. And I have this area here. I still like a uh, little work around the door, a piece, piece of wood there. I got this started here. We're saving the bathroom area till last. We're going to got one more piece to go here. And we've done this wall here, except for a little short piece over yonder. We're getting there pretty quick. Now this room here is completely done. We're excited now that we have it. And this right here is my pea sheller. Uh, this, this here is part of our, uh, our homesteading equipment here. You throw your field peas in the top of it here. They go through these two rollers right here. You adjust them. And it mashes the peas out of them. The holes pour out over here. You have a tray that fits up under here. And... Uh, the, uh, the peas fall down into this tray, and you just slide the tray out, just wash your peas off, and you, know, this, you don't have to sit here by hand and shell all these peas. This machine makes it a whole lot easier. And this machine is gonna go up on top of our refrigerator here. Uh, as a matter of fact, I probably just need to go ahead and put that up there, get it out of the way. Stuck back kind of out of the way. And we have our freezers here. Ms. Wanda has been actively working on these, cleaning them up, getting them good. And they are, let's see here. Oh yeah. Got it all loaded up. It's freezing back right quick. That's a good deal. We have our press over here in the corner that I built this custom table for out of a Craftsman table saw stand underneath it. And we painted it to match, and I think it's all a pretty good deal. It's got our apple crusher on uh, there in front of it. It's green. It sits on top of the apple press up there. And then we got a, we got an area right here 
we have another freezer in the shop that we're going to be moving into here and then from here around like we talked about before will be countertops we've already come in and predetermined plug-ins for dehydrators and stuff like that uh, all the way around this thing we have a countertop all the way around in here no shelving all up top from this one to be able to store a lot of her canned stuff um, kind of keep the code we can't have anything in front of the electrical box here so we won't be putting anything here and that's basically about it here the garage she shed is coming together really well we like a little work out here uh, along this side right over here you know putting in some uh, wall board over there and doing some trim out around the tops of these beams and stuff then we're going to move around over to here this is uh going to be miss wanda's uh canning kitchen area here we have the plug-ins already predetermined and the hot water heater where it's going the sink where it's going the stove where it's going everything's all laid out we try to get some uh, fire caulking around the tops of our wiring up there and our plumbing and try to see if we can't get this thing insulated and uh get the walls up on it <coughs> Uh, it does feel good, don't it? It does. It feels very good to just be able to sit down. We're in the uh, storage room right now, guys, the, out of the cold breeze and everything outside. Danny and I have been calling this our um, conference room because we put these two chairs in here. The wind was blowing and it's been cold for a couple of days. Yeah. And to block the huh. wind, we came in here. And so this has been our conference room for a couple of days. Um. I'm glad we got the freezer and the refrigerator moved. That, that's a biggie, and we've got one more freezer. You, sh you know, I showed you we got a lot to move to get that freezer out. Yeah. And then the next project will be building shelves and countertops and all that, so I can store all the pots, pans, yeah. uh, jars. We've got. I'm talking all kinds of dish yes. pans. Yes. Juicer steamer. Yeah. We've got the dehydrators. This is a canning room. This is going to be the room that has anything canning and preserving in it that I can find on this place is coming to this room if I make it fit. And two, I mean, you got to realize one and I is getting a lot older and it, uh, you know, to go all the way out to the shop to get <laughs> something and come all the way back to the house, you know, that's a lot of more extra steps for us. Um, and then you got to go hunt something. Um, and I hate hunting, so I'm trying to organize. This year's more about organization for me than anything else. And straightening and fixing everything that we just let go because we've been on so many projects. Yeah. We're going to finish projects and organize. Yes, we are. That's 2021. The whole, 2021 is a big deal for us. Uh, we're, we're trying to finally bring things down to organizing it, like Wanda says, and being able to, uh, if I say, hey, what about this? And she goes, I know right where it's at. She can go and lay her hand right on it. I mean, that's a... Uh, that's a homestead. That's having a building for what you need. Yeah. Have, I mean, used to they had corn cribs and they had barns and they had uh, their smoke houses and they had everything they needed at their fingertips. Well, this yeah. is a modern homestead. That, that That's basically true. And that's so right. for a modern homestead, I need a canning kitchen. I need a canning supplies. I, you know, these things are big and they don't store really well. They just sit out in the open all over everything if you don't yeah. have a proper place for it. And hopefully this room, the way we have it designed, will be pretty acclimated as far as climate is concerned. Yeah. Uh, there will be a door on it that will have a lock on it if we need to lock it. Uh, you know, um, and if we have to, we will climate control the room. We've already predetermined that. Um, we just don't we don't know yet if that's what we're gonna to have to do. We'll have to wait till this summer and actually see. Because we can get some pretty uh, hot days. We can. And so it's according to how it Danny insulated it well, but it's according to we've got two freezers and a refrigerator gonna be in here. How much How much heat, heat how much heat they generate and yeah. in a hundred and ten degree day that might be too much. It might be. I mean, we'll have to see. That's the reason for putting so much emphasis into installation. You know, if we get if we get it insulated as well as we can, not only will it keep things from uh, from literally freezing, but it'll also keep things maybe from getting too hot. Because I know my shop, 
Yeah, uh, it, it, it isn't even insulated, and you can go in it in the middle of the day, and it's, and it's like it's cool. way cooler inside the shop than it is outside. So. so guys, we hope you enjoyed a little bit about our moving day. Danny's still working on the outside, getting the, the panels up on the walls. Yeah. And we're just going to keep going. We'll bring you along as we get the other freezer moved, more shelves, and there'll be a final, hey, everything's in its place, but that might be that's many be, weeks down the road. That's going to be way down the road because I don't see us getting it done. You not know, yet. Not yet. Simply one thing is having to order stuff and get it in. Uh, that's going to yeah. take some time uh, because of the disruption in the supply chain. So as we get it done, we'll do quick updates and we'll bring you along for the final tour, maybe in a few weeks. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.